Alibaba is one of the Chinese import portals that people do import their top-notch quality product from. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step means by which you can make payment on the Alibaba platform without having any stress. Before you make payment on the Alibaba platform, you might have source for the product you want to um, order from the Alibaba import portals. And the sourcing. Sourcing is where you know the credibility and reliability of a supplier. It is one of the first stage in importation that also gives you the permission to know as to whether or not the product you are going to import or order is of quality or not. If you want to know the in-depth knowledge on how to source for top-notch quality products from Alibaba, check in the description of this video as I will leave a link to sourcing for the top-notch quality product. As I said earlier, today's focus is mainly on how to make a successful payment on Alibaba using your Visa card. I have my Visa card, um, so I take my smartphone, just as you can see. So from here, I have already um, had a, a source for the product. So you can check on my smartphone whilst I do. So I've had a chat with um, the supplier. So this, this very supplier. So let me go to the top. Let me scroll to the top so that I show you what I have um, sourced for. So I've sourced for this very um, boot. So I had a, um, a communication or a chat with the supplier. So you see, I said, I need black color. So he said, yes. If I have sample picture, which I did, I sent. Because the one that I sourced for is not this very color. So the supplier said, yes, um, he's having. He asked of the size, I said size nine. And we went on and on and on. And finally, I have to send my shipping address to the supplier, of which you can see it. This very address is for one of my students who is making the order. So I'm using his um, platform to shoot this very tutorial. So what matters here is the supplier has to send me the trade assurance link. In my video under sourcing, I've given an in-depth knowledge on what Trade Assurance Link is all about. It serves as a trustee between the buyer and the, um, the seller. So this is the Trade Assurance Link that the supplier has sent. So with my card, I just click on it. I wait for it to load. Now, let me explain this from here. So we can see order payment. So we have gotten to the stage of making payment using the prepaid visa card i have mine here um, successfully so it's waiting for payment so if i want to make payment i just have to click on make payment it brings me to this very interface from this interface you can see credit or debit card then we can see visa uh, at this very part this one you get this visa or mastercard from google pay if you have it then fine but this very one is the one that you acquire from um, your bank and so on and so forth if you have paypal account too and you want to use your paypal account to do this transaction you are good to go if you have um, you want to do bank transfer that is wire transfer you can do that as well in my case for instance as i said earlier i have the prepaid visa card with me so this is selected by default so i click on continue now from here there are two things you can either do from here you can if you have a scan picture of the card you are going to use you can quickly click on the scan card number to auto fill this part the next thing you can also do is you can manually input the card details of which i'm going to do that Now, the next thing I need to do is to enter the um, expiration date. Under the 16 digit, you see the expiration date on the card there. So I need to input that. Select the, the year, the day, um, the year is, 
I've selected that. Then I'm good to go. Now, the next thing is the CVV or the CSC. That one is a three digit um, number behind the card. Behind the card. Every um, the C, CVV is different from uh, every one CVV is different. So you just have to input that one as well. Now, the next thing I have to do from here is um, they say billing address, same as um, the shipping address. So I just have to leave it there. So from here, you can see the um, the agent that this is going to the shipping agent that will be taking delivery of this address is beneath here. Now the next thing is set set as your default card payment method and accept. The Alibaba then so it is your choice you can either set this card as a default payment on this card and you are just good to go what it basically means when you leave this one on is anytime you want to make payment or place an order on Alibaba this card details that has been input into the Alibaba system will be automatically saved for um, future transactions so i'm done with it if you like you can um, check this out if you like you can just leave it uh, and you are just good to go so in my case for instance i choose what i want but you can also follow it or you can still accept it it is your choice so i click on pay now i wait for the next um interface to come now what he's trying to do is to is, the system is trying to connect and initiate the um the card details that i have kept into the system to ensure that yes i have funds on it so you can see the processes that it is going through it's securing payment and so on and so forth you have seen everything for yourself now a message has been sent so this is the amount equivalent that has been debited from this very card 373 ghana cities 96 pesos which as of the uh, time I've made a payment, so they are saying thirty dollars ninety cents is equivalent to three hundred and seventy-three Ghana cities ninety-six pesos. So that is it for you. So having it means that this amount has been debited from this card. So if I want to view the order, I want to view the order. I say view order details, so I can click here. view other details so you realize that previously it was under payment now it has moved to dispatch this the system will automatically inform the supplier that um, we have made payment so the supplier should um, package the goods and deliver it to the shipping agent that we have uh, given the address to or fed the system with such address now, from there too, you can track this um, item when it is on its way. If the supplier is done packaging the goods and it is on its way, you see that this side will turn um, orange. And when um, the shipping agent takes delivery of the package, you see that from this dot will move to this very part successfully. Then when it gets to the delivery part, you can also click uh, come and give review it means that the shipping agent has taken delivery of the goods so you can also come and give review on um, how you feel or how you felt trading with the supplier has the uh, customer service been okay is communication okay was the payment secured was it successful or alibaba will just give you all those platforms so that you rate you can also give a review or evaluation on the alibaba um portal now one thing also is um, from this um, platform you will be able to um, know the tracking number when it is on its way going if you want to know how to use uh, a third party tracking system to track your goods off the alibaba import portal check in the description of this video as i'll leave a link to demonstrate practically how to um, track your goods off the alibaba um, import portal so it is your choice either you track it on the app or you track it off the um, alibaba import portals 
Folks, this comes to the end of today's tutorial. If today is your first time coming across my channel, I'll plead with you to hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and stay updated as and when I drop a new video. If you are a returning um, subscriber, I give reverence to you. You are the reason why I always bring you much insightful tutorial. If you find value in this tutorial, just give it a thumbs up, comment, leave your comment, or you have any question other than what I have demonstrated, let me know in the comment section. You can also follow Money Smile GH on all social media handles such as Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, TikTok, Trends. See you in my next tutorial.